Hello, so today I wanted to talk about uh, astrophotography for beginners. So yeah, get your wallets ready because uh, if you're not a millionaire, well, well, then I'm sorry. Okay, so you know I'm joking, right? if I could uh, make a video on a more uh, simple setup without uh, using the telescope so yeah uh, I guess today is the day mm. but I think the best thing is if I just show you what uh, what I'm going to be imaging tonight so we yeah, are really nothing special I'm just using my trusty Skywatcher GTI mount and I'm using the 55 to 250 millimeters uh, zoom lens and uh, as you can see I also have my guide scope attached however I did want to mention that uh, on a setup like this uh, you can get away without guiding and uh, still get some really amazing images but because I already have everything needed for guiding I just decided to attach it but later in the video I'll show you a few images uh, which I took uh, yesterday and I took anywhere from 30 seconds to 1 minute exposures and I still got some uh, images which I can share with you most of them are just uh, single exposures because I just wanted to show you a few possibilities so before I start to bore you I just want to go over a few uh, key things that you will need and first I wanted to talk about star trekkers but i just saw trevor's uh, video yesterday and you all probably know trevor from uh, astro backyard and he dedicated a whole video on this topic and i think it has no sense for me repeating the same so just in case you didn't already see the video and you don't know who trevor is i will link the video in the description so that's why i'll rather share a few thoughts uh, on the scarborcher gt mount and i think that this mount is really one of the best options uh, that you have if you want to start uh, astrophotography and i didn't have any other mounts to compare it to but uh, but if you've seen any of my other videos you can see that the mount is uh, quite capable and i'm not saying that i'm taking the best images uh, far from that but uh, but i have to say that i'm quite happy with my images uh, considering the amount of money that i spent on my setup especially if i look at some other setups that are way more expensive and complicated to operate so that's why my opinion is that this mount is uh, really worth considering if you want to start in this uh, amazing hobby and uh, with a setup like I'm using tonight it's uh, really so nice to image and uh, as I mentioned before you can get away without guiding and not just that if you are using a zoom lens you have to know that the lenses have quite fast optics uh, compared to some of the telescopes so for example my Wixen has an aperture of f 9.4 and uh, this lens at uh, 250 millimeters has an f ratio of uh, 5.6 yes and you may think that this uh, doesn't sound much but uh, this is actually a full three stop uh, difference so in this case the lens has a lot more uh, light gathering capability than uh, my telescope and if you do any kind of photography uh, I'm pretty sure that you have a lens uh, similar like this already at home even if not uh, those lenses are quite cheap uh, especially if you buy used one or you can even go for an old uh, prime lens which has an aperture of 2.8 I think uh, at least most of them so those lenses are even faster which uh, which will enable you gathering light uh, a lot more quickly and reduce the need for guiding uh, even more <laughs> So I think that's about it about the gear and uh, basically what I wanted to tell you that uh, don't overthink uh, which gear to use and uh, how to use it because uh, there's a learning curve in everything in life but uh, before I get poetical I wanted to say that uh, you can get uh, really far with patience and uh, dedication in the astrophotography with uh, any kind of gear and, uh, and it's true that some things will give you more headache than others but there's definitely a few things 
uh, you'll be required to, to learn so do yourself a favor and uh, take it step by step okay so uh, I really don't know where this video is heading but uh, take away this that uh, there is a lot of options out there so just use what you got and uh, then go to the next step especially now in the winter time you will have uh, quite a lot of deep sky objects that are uh, very bright and uh, you can image them with uh, the simplest gear so now I'll show you a few images uh, that I took yesterday and all of those images were taken uh, just before dawn because the winter targets uh, get uh, above the horizon very late in the night so you can clearly see which uh, targets I've imaged and with a little more dedication and uh, a few more images to stack uh, you won't impress NASA with those images but you might impress uh, some of your friends uh, or family and uh, before I end the video let me mention that uh, tonight I'm imaging the Andromeda galaxy which is another deep sky object uh, you should definitely try to image and uh, let me quickly mention the settings so I'm taking uh, 300 second exposures at uh, 800 ISO and uh, I'm using the UHC filter also if uh, any of you is interested in the 3D printed parts I've made I'll add a link to Thingiverse in the description where you can download all the files and also to mention that the guide scope holder can also be used uh, on an icon lens like this so if you have a similar icon lens uh, you can also use it uh, with that okay so I think that uh, that's about it for this video and I know that it was uh, a little bit uh, all over the place but but I just wanted to give you a small uh, overview and uh, share a few thoughts and basically just encourage you to use uh, what you got don't rush the process and just enjoy the nights uh, under the stars but if you have any questions feel free to let me know and as always I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you again next time take care bye